happy Tuesday, guys. It is March 2nd, meaning it is Dr. Seuss's birthday. Did you know Dr. Seuss was born in Springfield, Massachusetts? I had no idea. In fact, I had never even considered it. And he was actually alive. Not that, I mean, he died in 1991. He was born in 1904, I believe. He had a nice long life. And man, Springfield, Massachusetts. His name was Theodore Seuss Gazelle. I think that's how you pronounce it. But man, Springfield, I, I had no idea. I thought he was like an 18th or a 1800s writer or something. Maybe in the 1700s, 1800s, like ancient. <laughs> I didn't realize it was from the 1900s and for him to have been writing throughout that whole time. I mean, I first recognized it. It's um, Today is a day that in all elementary schools, kids are going in dressing like characters from his books in celebration of his day. And they actually have it as a read across America day as well because of it, because, you know, it's a great day to influence children across America to pick up a book and read. And I mean, he has such fun, fascinating stories that just keep you going like they're catchy. For little kids especially and they're fun to read out loud so for parents to sit down and read to their kids it's very fun also have you ever read the side where the sidewalk ends i used to love reading those because they're like riddles but yeah dr seuss is awesome so happy birthday to dr seuss hopefully you can celebrate with him well with all the people across america and across really the world i mean right? They have Dr. Seuss in all parts of the world, right? Has it been translated? I'm sure it has. I mean, I don't know for sure. Next time I'm in another country, I'm going to check and see if there's translations because it's such a great kid's book. If you're looking for breakfast ideas, Egg McMuffin. Apparently today's its day to celebrate. Um, it was created in 1972 another thing that I thought was a lot older than it actually is but yeah 1972 and it revolutionized the breakfast industry apparently <laughs> um this is where they have the McMuffin a thin slice of ham or the Canadian bacon whatever you call it and then an egg and cheese bam and they butter of course the um the McMuffin it's also National Old Stuff Day. So that means spring cleaning, taking all your old stuff and putting it to the side, stuff that you either want to reuse, find a new use for, clean it up, fix it up, whatever you want to do with it, or recycle it, or you have some other options. You can sell it or you can donate it. But please do not throw it away. That is the absolute last worst thing you could do because it's a waste. Um, remember that your trash is another person's treasure and just because you can't find a use for it doesn't mean someone else can't find a use for it. Or just because you can't use it the way it is doesn't mean you can't fix it or change it just a little bit. You know, Pinterest is great for that finding ways to reuse things or reinvent them so just to keep in mind when you're spring cleaning whether it's today or some other day although today would be a great day to open the windows because because it's overcast it has a slight chill to the air it's like 66 degrees you can open those windows and really air out the house while you're dusting and cleaning and pulling out stuff that you don't necessarily want anymore just an idea for those who aren't working <laughs> or have the extra spare time maybe you're working from home and you're a little light on the day you can like do a little extra of that home stuff although I don't know if it's a great idea mixing home and work 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 and homework yeah I don't know completely up to you just an idea or save it for the weekend that's probably what I'll end up doing although I did a little of that a couple weeks ago when I had a washer issue where it was leaking and I had to take out everything in my utility closet and 
and then I didn't want to put certain things back because it took up so much space and I didn't use them anymore like a stroller I was like I don't use this anymore I really need to just like chuck it and I'm like nope can't chuck it so I put it up on the next door app saying free it just needs new tires because I've had it for 10 years and before the end of the day someone came by and got it so I was really happy about that because you know of course they need a stroller so now my trash is someone else's treasure see how that works <laughs> it is also banana cream pie so if you're craving a dessert if you can find it I don't know where you'd go to get banana cream pie other than the grocery store has some banana cream pie oh oh Sunny's also has banana cream pie I believe or they might just have banana cream pudding. That might be it. It might not be a pie. Well, you know, the pudding part is the best part anyways. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.